My goal today is to convince you to hire a tutor for organic chemistry. So whenever we have a goal, we're bound by three parameters. Let's say we set our goal to 93% in the course. We have a timeline of a one semester to be able to achieve that. And lastly, the resources involved in that project or that goal are our hours, our maybe a tutor, our study materials, and maybe our strategy, right? And so if this is fixed, our goal is fixed, our timeline is fixed, we have a semester with set exam dates, then the only thing that we can change, that we can um, adapt is the resources we have on, towards this goal. So that could mean increasing hours, that could mean hiring a tutor, that could mean getting better study materials, that could mean a better strategy, right? Now conversely, let's say our timeline is fixed, but our resources are fixed. I can't put enough hours, I'm not studying enough, I don't have a tutor, I don't have strategy. What's going to happen is, unfortunately, the grade is going to decrease to compensate for that. Whether we like it or not, knowingly or unknowingly, that's what happens, right? And so the idea here is that these three parameters are interrelated. If, in most cases, our timeline is fixed, and we have a set goal. In order to be able to achieve that goal, we have to compensate by increasing hours and investing more resources into the project. So reason number one to hire the tutor is to achieve your goal. Reason number two is to accelerate the learning curve. Now, whenever you study, whenever you have a goal, there's a learning curve associated with that goal. Uh, what you'll see often is the shape of the learning curve doesn't change with tutor or not. Right, And so what happens is you're studying, studying, studying until finally you start to see results. With a tutor, you can achieve those same results in less time. It basically shifts the learning curve all the way to the left, allowing you to achieve results in a faster period of time. This minimizes frustration um, and helps you get that confidence that you need with the course. So reason number two is accelerate your learning curve. Reason number three is to manage your mindset. So complacency, panic, boredom, frustration, anxiety are all emotions anybody who's embarked on a goal has faced um, in achieving that goal, right? And so helping you manage those emotions and being able to think beyond them and persisting in your goal can also be a benefit of a tutor. So the three reasons are to manage your mindset, accelerate your learning curve, and achieve your goal.